Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I have a very chilly Katie. It is cold. <laughs> um, I have a Asda food haul to share with you. Um, this came to £102 and some change. Sorry if the lighting is crazy. We had quite a lot of snow yesterday and today it's like keeps on going dark, throwing down some hail and then stopping again so the the lighting is going insane in here today so sorry about that but yeah as the food all like 102 quid and some change um i think it was four substitutions i kept them all um i had the rude delivery driver that i had a couple of weeks ago um and i followed the advice that many of you gave in the comments of that video uh i just did not communicate with him like I did the minimum of manners so hello fine thank you how are you Meh. um no I'm fine with my substitutions and, and and that was kind of it and I closed the door after every kind of pick something up bring it in like just kept him to an arm's length and he was desperately trying to have a conversation with me you're quiet this week you all right I think, did you like the snow? Did your little one like the snow? And it was just like, it's like, sorry, I'm in a rush. And I just cracked on. To be fair, my slot was booked between 11 and 12 and he turned up at 20 past 12. Um, but then there is hail on the road, so the weather is not great. So, yeah. I remained polite, but I kept it to a minimum. Just because he was a dick last time we delivered here anyway moving on um i hope you've all had a good week so as i said we had snow yesterday ruben got his first go in snow um he liked it for about 15 20 minutes and then he started to get cold and then he didn't like it <laughs> he wouldn't wear his gloves um just refused to wear the gloves um so he took gloves off put mittens on wouldn't do that either um but then kept on coming over to tell me his hands were cold. So like, we have to go in if your hands are cold. No. No. <laughs> um, so, yeah. He had some. We got some cute pictures. He enjoyed it. Um, but he kept on, like, wanting me to hold his hands. And, um, yeah. And then we went back out, like, because we went out first thing in the morning. To, we went back out at lunchtime. It was a little bit warmer. So he had, a, like, a second play in it um but again you know he only enjoyed it while he was like warm i had one of those little um pads that you put in your pocket that you crack to keep your hands warm so i took that so he could put his hands on it but he's like hot 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 so <laughs> i tried i tried to keep his hands warm it wasn't happening but he enjoyed the bits that he got to do anyway stop rambling let's show you the food shopping there we go quite a lot for the money like i say like just a bit over 100 quid um some weeks it doesn't look this good but then you know it is what it is right so we have four bottles of coke zero we have a four pack of toilet roll not the toilet roll i ordered i ordered andrex i ordered a four pack um but i think i just ordered I can't remember, I think I, this says gentle clean, but I, I want to say I ordered the blue pack and they've sent me the pink pack. I don't really care. It's toilet roll, but yeah, it was a substitution, but it's the same brand and it's the same number, which is all that matters. Got some fromage spray for Ruben. Um, this was a substitution. I ordered egg custards. They've sent me egg custards. It's just the basic range. It's fine. These are good. I'd actually have ordered these, I think, but they were out of stock when I was doing my finalising my delivery last night. So I'm fine with that. And we got some ham for sandwiches. Uh, they had, I normally am a Lloyd Grossman sauce fan. It's normally what we get. They had none available on the website last night. So I thought we'd try this mascarpone and tomato sauce. Really lovely reviews. And it was about the same price as the Lloyd Grossman one anyway. Um, it's an Asda own brand, but it is like the extra special range. I must admit, you will see that a lot of this week's order has come from the extra special range because it was like, 
that was it that was what was available on the website um or the non because of the offers on it actually worked out better to buy the extra special stuff um so yeah got some salami got mr reuben some uh yogurt coated strawberry bits he really likes these like cranberries raisins uh strawberries uh i think we even got a mango one once from holland and barrett anything covered in yogurt he'll eat it i suppose most kids are the same uh we've got some mushrooms i got some strawberry jam um, we've got some sweet corn. Um, I ordered fruit scones. They substituted it for fruit scones. Not the ones I ordered. It's absolutely fine. Um, not a stitch of Warburton's bread available on the website. But this sounded nice. Uh, white sliced farmhouse. So we've got that. And then we got some wraps. We've got a cucumber. Cheeky chicken and mushroom pot and noodle. Uh, we've got some Warburton Thins. Uh, I got one of those crimpet things for Christmas. I've still not used it, so yeah, got that. Uh, I ordered chocolate chip pancakes. They substituted it for chocolate chip cake. I'm wondering, I think maybe I could slice it and grill it. I'm not sure. Or, you know, we'll just have toast that day and I eat cake, but... I don't know. I'm still kind of thinking I can do something with it. Like breakfasty. Um, Soaring apple loaves for Ruben's lunchbox. The salted caramel skinny dream bars. I really like these. They do not taste like a skinny. Like some of these skinny bar things do taste like cardboard, but these taste nice. Um... Pom bears for Mr. Reuben, uh, a Lunchable for Mr. Reuben, some clotted cream to go with the scones. We've got some buttery and herby baby potatoes. Um, strawberry um, Haribo and then I'd ordered the multi-pack, you know, where it's like 10 of the mini packs of Haribo. They substitute it for a pack of Haribo. It's fine. Um, we've got some red onions in the shadows, uh, some mash. Uh, there was a meal deal on with the pizza, so we've got a mozzarella and basil flatbread. And then there is a pizza in here somewhere. <laughs> um, we've got some strawberries, cheese strings. I think Reuben could probably eat a pack of these in a day if allowed. The kid loves dairy, what can I say? Uh, we've got some uh, little cherry tomatoes. We have 12 mini meringues. Ruben likes these. We all like those. Um, there's the kids' size bananas. Um, we've got some pop chips in barbecue. I thought I ordered sweet chilli, um, but it didn't It didn't come up as a substitution, so I obviously must have ordered the barbecue. It's fine. We both like it. Just John prefers the, the sweet chilli. These were a substitute. I ordered the lentil chips, the salted lentil chips, um, and they've sent proper crisps in frame, flame grilled steak. I think John will like it. I think he'll like them, so we can give those a go. I've got two bags of pretzels because they were on offer. Uh, we have some broccoli, some carrots, some of the cheapy crisps for me. And I've got two chicken breasts. Um, oh, this looks nice. I must admit, I did think it would be a bigger pack, but it's quite heavy. So I think it's just packed, densely packed. Um, Wiltshire Cure Ham Hock and Leek Gratin. I think I'm going to do that and like wrap the chicken in some parma ham and some veg on the side. I think that would be nice for me and John. Um, I've got some strawberry yogurt. Like... Uh, yeah, I did. I was going to say, I thought it was the 0% fat one. The Onkin is good. In here, we have some breaded chicken goujons. Some parma ham. How nice do these look? Wild garlic British Kiev chicken Kievs. They look lovely. Oh, this is the pizza. I said there was a meal deal on with the pizza. 
and the flatbread. So we've got a ham and mushroom pizza. We've got some monge too. That is not looking too pretty. Um, we've got some ice gem lettuce. I got some liver for Darwin and Gilly. Um, yeah, nice. I was going to say a nice treat. I am one of those people. I do not like liver. I do not like kidneys. I can't eat it. John will eat it, but um, it's good for the pups. It's good for Darwin. Uh, so yeah, I got him some liver. I uh, got some meatballs. And under the meatballs, we've got some lightly dusted bassa fillets. Like, it's just breaded fish, isn't it, really? There you go. Um, and then in the frozen section, we got some chicken, ham hock, leek pies. I got some of these onion rings. These onion rings, these beer battered ones, are lush. These are not the most expensive ones that as to do, but these are better than the more the more expensive ones. Hundred percent recommend. Bag of frozen broccoli and uh, a bag of these um, frozen chips. So that is this week's groceries. Um, so quite self-explanatory, I think. Uh, there'll be pie and mash. There will be pizza and flatbread. Um, we're going to do the um, ham hock gratin with the chicken wrapped in the parma ham. Fish chips, mushy peas. Uh, what else did I pick up? Meatballs, pasta and that nice looking sauce. That's five. I have a steak in the fridge left over from last week that we didn't use so that's the and the chicken kiev chicken kiev with um i'll do that with like the herby potatoes and some veg that is my seven meals um all rather straightforward but hopefully oh, most of it is something that reuben will try trying very much for reuben to eat what we're eating now he's like he was two in august so most things unless it's really like spicy or there's a lot of salt in it because i do like salt um he can have and he will try almost everything like he likes the curries he likes sweet and sour chicken um we have moments where he won't eat meat but he'll eat the rice and the sauce and the veg so just kind of trying to continue with that don't get me wrong i'm not saying he's a perfect fooder fooder feeder eater um we have days where he eats everything exactly the same as me and john and then there are other days where he will refuse his favorite food and i just end up making him mac and cheese because i you know mac and cheese is currently the favorite food of the month a couple of months ago it was fish fingers it was the only like <laughs> but yeah trying trying to have it that we all eat the same or very similar thing so it's kind of feels like you're only cooking once um but we and he does he will eat almost everything when he's in the mood for it but i say there are days where i'm definitely stood there with my tea going cold making him mac and cheese um luckily it's an easy one to make isn't it but yeah that is this week's groceries i have rambled enough i hope you're all okay surviving the cold temperatures um, take care guys, I'll talk to you in the next one.